Hello all, a very good evening and a warm welcome to all BC teams. And it gives me immense pleasure to invite all ladies, our leadership team and our beloved CEO for the closure ceremony of Water One. I'm Divya, the facilitator of Water Initiative and your host for today. As the world continues to celebrate womanhood and the power it possesses to bring real transformation in people's lives, it is time we stand up for the real change and for real empowerment and for real reform. And that is what water is all about. So this is a culmination of two year long program and the Women Empowerment Forum is a platform to raise awareness and empower women in the Middle East, India and Asia Pacific geographies of the BCT by providing them with the knowledge, advice and appropriate channels required to minimize and eliminate the roadblocks to progress. This program has gained a lot of positive responses and we are launching Water 2 soon and it is as it is endorsed by our CEO. And this year we would extend water two to our US geography as well. That's definitely you know, committed as part of the charter. So I uh, truly take this moment to thank the complete executive committee members, uh, Jaya Vaidyanathan, uh, CEO of BCT Digital, uh, Shanti Chandrasekhar, the executive vice president of APAC Strategy Business and Chitra Srinivas, uh, Associate Vice President of uh, Legal and Finance. And I must mention the support and push that I received from my co-facilitator, Atisha. And uh, lastly, from Kavita and Laurel on the communication mailers as part of the working committee. So how did we start this journey? You know, uh, just a quick uh, recap. So we rolled out a survey to all the BCT ladies, uh, you know, in, in Drop Thought, our own tool. And uh, we, we actually gathered four key you know, focus areas, one, which is career or growth and development, and number two is health and wellness, third, it's financial independence, and fourth, on positive relationship, you know, harmony, positive relationship at workforce. So these were the uh, four specific focus areas, which was uh, chartered uh, as, a, as a, you know, Interest to be driven throughout uh, our, our two years, and that is where the focus was. And this was thoroughly the voice of our ladies. And um, this was on the program shocked. And what you see here is uh, some of the key highlights, just to one slide up. I thought I should walk you through, which is very important when, when we talk about the closure ceremony and the, and the journey of water. So overall, uh, we had around 70, almost percent of participation. And, and all the programs we focus, what you see here, is, is uh, all which is under those four focus areas, you know, chopped out under the focus areas. And thanks to our in-house L&D team, because most of them we managed to you know, uh, have it budgeted within our in-house uh, L&D team. And very few interventions we took from our external uh, vendors support. And uh, that's what you see here. And, and uh, you know, the best part is this program uh, brought in a lot of, you know, cross geography collaboration during the webinars and, you know, uh, during the interventions we had, and it definitely, you know, improved the emotional intelligence that was actually voiced out by the ladies, uh, you know, post session. And during each one of these interventions, how did we measure the success? We actually went went ahead and rolled out quizzes, um, you know, online quiz, and we said fastest fingers win with maximum or accurate responses, and we were able to measure the success also. And most of them, you know, almost eighty percent of the ladies were able to, uh, you know, uh, take part. In the quiz and come out with the right responses and uh, yeah and and the best part is we had you know three magazines which were rolled out during this complete water journey so and all of them were our in-house authors so the bct uh, ladies were the authors i'll also you know share who were the authors uh, towards the end and who who actually contributed to this to these magazines and those magazines were also thematized on these topics you know which was focusing on each quarter interventions that's, that's something uh, which I mentioned. And lastly, the primary objective was definitely met. Uh, you know, before water, the, the ratio was 13% in 2018, uh, the gender ratio. And now we have improved our, uh, you know, our gender ratio to 19.6%. So the 6.6% is definitely, you know, uh, uh, you know it, it, it is a significant number, I would say. And that, that is uh, the success of the program as well. So um, with this, uh, before we move ahead, I would like to, uh, you know, call upon um, Jaya to share a few words on, on her experience. She uh, had contributed 
you know, initially when we started the journey, it was Jaya, Shanti, and Chitra when we brainstormed and we put this charter together. Yes, over to you, Jaya. Well, thank you very much. And Divya also, as usual, has told me I have to say whatever I say in 180 seconds. So let me go with that. <laughs> I like to start with um, giving an anecdote, which is um, an often used example, which is, um, you know, you take three things. You take a carrot, you take an egg, and you take coffee beans. All of them, you pour hot water over it. So the carrot softens, the egg kind of gets really hard, and the coffee changes the characteristic of the water it's in and gives you a flavor. So I did see the hot water is the same in all these three balls, but the reaction to how you look at any adversity and what you make out of it is the one that is the mark of a person that makes a difference in life. And for that, to make a mark and have that spirit to say, I neither will get hardened, nor will I get softened, but I will make that something out of every challenge that's thrown in my way was pretty much the objective if you look at it in terms of setting a chart of water. And uh, to do that, to say, I will face adversity, first you need to skill yourself. And uh, the wonderful goals that uh, you know the executive committee and the team and all the ladies participated with an overwhelming response was to say, how do I skill myself for that? Be it career advancement, be it health and well-being financial independence and positive relationships. Where does that come from? That comes from your ability to skill yourself to face an adversity and come out of it much sharper than you did. We've had the pandemic, we've had mental health issues throughout the world. Uh, we've had people not focus on uh, physical health. There've been challenges in terms of family. And I think this is a wonderful platform of engagement and wonderful response that's gone in into making this uh, program a success. So thank you very much uh, for DP and uh, thank you very much for uh, the sponsorship for uh, this program. And thank you very much for all the support and direction from the executive committee and all the ladies that joined it and made it a success. You made it your own. There's nothing, you know, this is all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jaya. Yeah, so uh, this is one of the flagship program, I would say, uh, which is Communication Gym. And uh, that had actually set a high benchmark. Uh, we uh, did this as a you know, classroom session in, in India. And then it was also rendered as a virtual you know, session, a webinar for other geographies. Uh, because initially, uh, this was, uh, you know, uh, definitely a key competency for women to have their own uh, success story to be voiced out. So, so post session, post 12 hours of, you know, a daily workshop, you know, which was cumulatively 12 hours, by the way. Uh, towards the end, we were able to capture each one of the uh, ladies video and also, you know, that was inspiring for most of them to participate further and there were more batches rendered. So thanks again to Shiva. Uh, who, who was delivering this workshop for us. And uh, yeah, and, and my favorite, uh, you know, uh, was this, the executive panel meet, you know, this was in the last, uh, last year Women's Day, where I got a chance to actually do a rapid fire with the executive committee. And uh, again, this was live telecasted across uh, geographies. And, uh, and, you know, uh, I really enjoyed this, uh, this particular moment. And, and, you know, where I heard a lot of uh, inspirational you know, uh, talks from uh, Jaya on the career aspiration as well as on work-life balance insights from Chitra. Chitra, why don't you share some of your, uh, you know, insights here, especially on, on your experience in this water journey. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with uh, the uh, water journey, which we've gone through this last couple of years. Uh, though we couldn't meet very much thanks to the pandemic, but uh, uh, the level of enthusiasm and the uh, kind of work that is done in, especially from the executive committee, Divya, Kavita, Laurel, uh, I think you guys have done such a great job of getting the, uh, what we set out to do to get people, you know, all kinds of empowerment, which we're looking at, financial, emotional, uh, skill development, everything has happened and has happened so seamlessly, so lovely to see how everyone has, and the participation, it's been great. I only want to say one thing, women empowerment, which we set out to do, uh, 
is something that all of us who are in the corporate world we're already empowered to a certain extent but our empowerment will go so much more if we just empower each other or in any part of your life whether you're at home or you're at work to just empower one person you know uh, whether it's a male or female is i think immaterial because ultimately we all exist together right so women empowerment comes when we understand that if the world around us is as empowered as we are we're going to live in a much better world so much power to bct because bct has always led the way as far as uh, <clears throat> i wouldn't even say empowerment i would say just letting people function in an independent environment being encouraged to do uh, what you're good at upskilling there's a lot of freedom and trust in bct and we can thank dp and ms hind for that uh, the kind of atmosphere they've created so i wish water all the best and i hope water too is you know goes to greater heights than water one so all the best all of you thank, thank you. you thank you chitra i have a you know a less than 1 minute av to show a recap um, here you go that was a quick recap of our journey so i would like to call upon uh, shanti uh, to share a few words on her experience yes please shanti you have to unmute okay thank you am i audible yes loud and clear okay good evening everybody i said good afternoon good morning if if people from us is joining yeah, um it gives immense pleasure to be standing in front of such a forum uh women empowerment and advancement transformation these are the topics which i'm sure that is very close to my heart as well as to many people many women here so first of all before uh, you know uh, giving my feedback i would like to thank dp um because without all support and motivation we would not have started this and also all my fellow uh, executive committee members a working committee and also the facilitating committee okay without all our efforts um, i think so this uh, mandate would not have been achieved or we would not have implemented all the initiatives that we have uh, started up i still remember i can't believe that is 2 years uh, two years ago when we were uh, thinking about the name for this forum uh, jaya uh, chitra and us uh, uh, when the name water was uh, suggested it was consensus because all of us could relate to that and uh, everybody wanted to make it meaningful whatever the initiatives that we are suggesting as part of water or the focus areas etc should be meaningful measurable and impactful so and i can see that your uh, one minute uh, av clearly shows the kind of work that we have done uh, um, kudos to the uh, working committee you guys did a fantastic uh, job and also to the participate uh, participating divas because without that this um, forum would not have been successful and uh, what really um, for me um, i could see the our divas in a different form was the uh, water magazine i think so that was the highlight um, yes one was the um, uh, meetings and the other one was the sessions which we conducted jayas and chitra sessions on financial management was excellent and also the uh, uh, the articles that was published by uh, the um, uh, you know our bct divas was really good 
it showed a different flavor. Um, so I was so happy to read a article about you know the uh, personal development and in terms of health uh, from a, a audit executive and vice versa. So we know that uh, we are all all around us, and that's what this article clearly um, demonstrated. So what I would like to see in Water Two is more representation. Uh, of women across the geography and it's excellent move to include even USGO and also more contribution and see more uh, you know ladies uh, uh, especially in the mid managerial uh, role in BCT because I'm sure that as Chitra rightly said that um, we should empower one another and uh, I would take a vote that to have more and more ladies empower more ladies in our team. Thank you. Yes, that's like, you know, sounding more promising and very motivating. I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, the complete HR group and across geographies uh, we are representing today. So the message is gone and we're going to improve the diversity hiring even more. Thank you, Shanti. And I'm glad that you had a glance at the magazines as well. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so as you all were rightly saying, during the pandemic still we didn't stop because we, we went with all a lot of webinars during the pandemic. So some of it is what I have put here. So because we were not able to have a lot of interactive sessions, you know, or in-person sessions. So we were able to manage with a few of the webinars, very, very informative and need of the art webinars as well. And, um, you know, yes, you can also see one of the webinar, which was, uh, you know, rated the best. It was on grooming, because I know this is a topic which would interest most of the ladies and women. So we did have a session on grooming as well, that, though that was out of the topic, you know, out of the focus area that was keeping ourselves a little calm and, you know, uh, happy during the pandemic. And thanks to, um, you know, leaders uh, like Raj, Mike, and um, you know, and, and Swami also, because they have been sharing few of the webinar links to us. When it comes to them, they keep sharing it to us and, and we also extend it to a wider audience. So that is something which we actually did and, and uh, you know, that was extended. I have actually, uh, you know, posted few of the webinars here, but we did even more uh, during the pandemic and a lot of, lot of virtual sessions. Yeah. So, uh, Yes, uh, let's get into uh, recognizing the divas of uh, the Q1 interventions. The Q1 intervention was uh, predominantly uh, focusing on uh, career advancement for women. And, um, you know, we are recognizing the people who did extremely well uh, on the online quizzes and be it, you know, on contribution, very interactive sessions, uh, you know, in, in the webinars. And that is what you can see here. And uh, yes. It is uh, Shilpa from Singapore uh, on time management session, Nays from Oman on business communication, and Rashmi from Oman on time management, Deepti from India for time management session, and Sangeeta Mishra from UAE on business communication skills. So congratulations uh, to you, all of you. And, and I, I recall uh, that Nays and Rashmi, yes, we did recognize you uh, during our meet at Women, but, but I thought... Uh, you know, this is a global forum. It'll be nice again to, uh, you know, recognize and, and you know, mention uh, all of you because you have contributed in this uh, water forum. So um, I would like to pick up uh, probably Shilpa is there. Why don't you share a few words on your experience? Because you as participant and as divas, uh, you know, flying divas of, of water season one should, should be sharing some experience and voice. Yes. Shilpa is there. Shilpa or Sangeeta. Uh -huh. Hello, uh, hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. So uh, yes, I got a privilege to participate in the activities. Um, it it is it's really a very great initiative uh, for encouraging us to participate in um, different activities. Um, not only like uh, it gives us like motivation, but it helps in professional development too. I remember I got the chance to participate in some trainings related to career advancement, time management, and uh, for the business communication also. And I also got the privilege to write two articles. Um, my first article was being mentally happy and professionally productive. And the second one was fitting in fitness. So it was nice initiative and hope in future we have this kind of program more in BCT. Thank you. And Shilpa, it's a privilege to have you write that, not the other way around. Uh, thank you so that. much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's it, yeah. 
Thanks. Congratulations once again, Shilpa. Congratulations, Shilpa. Thank you so much, Shanti. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations to all the divas uh, here. Congratulations. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Sangeeta, are you there? Sangeeta or Deepti, any one of you would like to share? Your words? Good evening, everyone. This is Sangeeta from BCT Marketing. And uh, many of you know me as Deepti. I'm extremely grateful for the recognition by BCT. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to receive it uh, in your presence. Uh, it is really hard to put this feeling into words, but initiatives like water make us self-aware and empowered us at the same time. Kudos to the team BCT and its wonderful leadership, which always encourages these special initiatives. And the best part about BCT is that there will never be an end to such creative and innovative programs. Heads off to Team Water, who never got tired organizing events to empower all BCT women with every aspect of life, be it health awareness program or technology rich program. So keep rocking ladies. I will be looking forward to the next one. Thank you. Thank you, Sangeeta. I love you. <laughs> because you said yeah. you're really waiting for what to do and you've been a very very motivating you know participant very active participant yeah thank you so much Divya. thanks yes uh before going ahead for the divas of q2 and q3 interventions uh i would like to um, you know mention a thank you note here uh predominantly a thank you note why because this uh this uh leader was the person who actually handed over you know water to me to me and Atisha and said that, yes, you will have to drive this. We have formed a team and uh, we don't have something like this existing currently, but we will have to build a complete framework and make this running every year, uh, you know, significantly. So it is uh, Chandra, Chandra Shekhar uh, Timuri. Yes, uh, Chandra, would you like to share a few words and thank you once again. And uh, you can see the success of the program now. It's a beginning. Thank you, Divya. And uh, congratulations to all the women. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's your day. It's your day all the way through. And uh, uh, thank you for that recognition. It's a very small thing. Uh, we just brought this issue up when we were talking about many things that needed to be put up rapidly one after the other. And uh, I'd like to thank DP, who kind of approved this in less than 30 seconds. I mean, it, uh, most of the approvals that I've got from him in the series of meetings is all done in less than a minute. Uh, that's all it takes to, you know, convey something to him and to get his uh, assent. So thanks to him and his vision. Uh, uh, two years back, what we launched has taken off and blossomed so beautifully. And uh, it's worth mentioning that this was part of a series of initiatives that we did to take our organization to the next level of sophistication, uh, among which I'd like to mention of ICC and the CSR initiatives. So ICC is worth mentioning because water's success uh, has a great correlation to ICC. Because when you create a safe and uh, empowered environment, you know, uh, what we expect out of women automatically comes out, you know. And so we did that. And all of these initiatives have taken off in a very uh, successful way. And it is wonderful to see that happen. And I'd like to congratulate the executive committee, the working committee, and all other facilitators and ladies associated with that. And it's very heartening to see the kind of participation that we see today. And it's heartening to also know that US would be included. I remember cautiously it was you know, taken as a limited step, the first step in discussion with the CEO. And it's nice to know that it's becoming global. I'd like to congratulate all of you. and. Wish you a wonderful water too. Highly successful and a highly flourishing uh, takeoff for the next one. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. So um, let's go ahead uh, with recognition of the divas who contributed in Q2 and Q3. It's Hepsiba from India for high health index. We did a health camp and yeah, she was the, the, mo the healthiest woman in NGNI. And uh, Candy Strength from uh, Taipei, uh, you know, on a health quotient quiz, she was topping. And we have Round Money from India, who topped up on the emotional uh, intelligence quiz. 
Sangeeta again on health quotient and Maze uh, from Oman on emotional intelligence. So, so I do see Sangeeta and Maze, you know, as stopping up uh, consistently. So yeah, why don't we ask Maze? Yeah, Maze, if you're here, would you like to share a few words? Because I see you've been contributing, topping up the chart in Q1, Q2, and Q3. And also you have contributed in our magazine. So thank you so much, Maze. And, and yes, uh, how was your experience? And, and first of all, congratulations to all the PVARs who are here. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Maze. I'm part of audit team. And thank you, HR and Water, for, uh, for this recognition. It means a lot to me. And uh, yes, uh, participating uh, for such events have been very uh, interesting and has been uh, fun, actually. I wouldn't say like I enjoyed work, uh, working for this. I enjoyed uh, attending the quizzes and the webinars, all that, even writing an uh, article for the magazine. I really enjoyed everything. I really appreciate all the initiatives taken by the water and, and I wish all the best for their future. And I'm looking forward to participating even more events with, under this forum. Thank you. Congratulations, Mahesh. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. Thank you. Congratulations once again. Is uh, anyone else here around me? If you're here, you would like to share a few words? Yeah. Hi, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I was happy initially uh, to be part of the VCT, even though I'm new to this uh, VCT. Uh, I feel that this water program is really um, con giving a confidence that women are empowered in VCT. And I was, I like to say that once I attended a session of my guru says, that we should be, uh, be ready to lose our hearts to win, uh, lose our lose ourselves to win hearts. So uh, the same thing uh, which I felt and experienced in my life, that emotional intelligence is something which we have to, we should not react to the emotions immediately. So um, every sessions which water uh, makes, I was happy to attend all those things and I was happy to be part of this water program. Like whenever I see the leadership team, I feel empowered. Um, though I'm not a, of that level, but still I feel that I may in future get an opportunity to be part of this uh, program. Thank you. And thank you, BCT, and thank you all. You're already part of the program. All of you are empowered to be part of the program. Yeah. Thank you for that. Congratulations once again. And yeah, all of you are going to get uh, certificates of uh, Water One, you know, uh, the, the winning divas of the interventions, each one of you who got recognized today. And definitely we would like to, uh, you know, mention our gratitude for all the authors, you know, of the magazine, uh, be it edition one, edition two, and edition three, a special mention for uh, edition three, because we have a, a Kaushal Chandak from finance team, is a manager who, who actually contributed for our water magazine. You know, so that was really, uh, really nice of, uh, you know, we are having Kaushal to contribute for our, our water magazine on this initiative. So thanks for that. And yes, other authors who contributed here, you can see the snapshot of these magazines, the editions. And uh, edition one, the contributors were Gomuti, senior analyst of India, Shilpa again, executive assistant from Singapore, Preeti, software engineer, India. Pallavi, test engineer from India. And for magazine two, it was focusing on health and wellness. We had Maze uh, contributing from Oman, uh, executive internal audit. Shilpa again contributed for edition two, executive assistant from Singapore. And Saru Lata Srinivasan from KPO BPO team uh, contributed for edition two. And uh, yeah, the congratulations and thanks to all of you once again. So, um, with that, um, I would now request our uh, Honorable CEO to share a few insights on this journey and your wishes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, it's a wonderful thing to catch up with you all once again. And uh, I can see one thing very, very clear. Uh, the Water Committee has done a fantastic job. And not only starting it well, but then at the same time, sustaining the momentum that is so important for bringing out the best in people and giving the atmosphere that people can deliver themselves with a lot of confidence and assurance that everyone will be given a fair chance. I'm so happy that uh, the percentage has gone up, which is a great indication. And uh, I do remember when we first met Ms. Hind and uh, she came back and said, 
uh, what is the percentage of women in our company? It was 22% at that particular point in time. And then so only 22%, I said, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that uh, you're the chairperson and we, we are struggling to get that number up. The next time when she came and uh, discussed, it came down to 12 or 13%. Then it was a bit of an embarrassment to even state it in front of her. But I'm so happy that it's moved up now by 40% from where it was last year. And kudos to all of you people and uh, tremendous amount of inspiration that uh, women leaders have been in BCT. And uh, I would say that uh, water program, instead of getting watered down, it's becoming the cutting edge of the organization. I think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm seeing uh, women in our company taking up leadership positions and uh, they are doing a great job. I mean, uh, there are several statistics and uh, uh, I would say surveys that come up and say that women are more passionate than men. Uh, I think that's true even here. I've seen women with tremendous amount of passion and uh, uh, not to put down the men, but then the women is, have got the edge in many ways. And I've seen them uh, I mean, do a great balancing act of not only office, the personal life, and at the same time, do a lot of work at the social cause. And people like Jaya also do on the marathons and uh, motivating people to be stay healthy. And that, that's very good. And uh, I also see, uh, I mean, women in our company like Shanti, who have taken up additional uh, qualification in Stanford, despite all the pressure of multiple geographies and so on and so forth. And, and Divya yourself, and uh, uh, it's, it's been fantastic. Then Rama, a silent person here right now, but then uh, she's also been behind all of you people in trying to bring the best out of it. And even Jaya, for that matter, won several recognitions in this, this one year. Uh, in the league of uh, the Ambani's, and uh, that's that's a fantastic thing. And uh, Reza, sitting from uh, Dubai, has done very great work in uh, Copa Airlines. Besides her usual work in uh, launching an e-commerce for uh, uh, Sheikha Hind Bhawan's uh, perfume business, and I can go on. Chitra, Kavita, Kavita, for example, again, I mean, having multiple hats, and uh, and again, Laurel, despite all the uh, personal uh, pressure that she went through. I'm sure she'll come back with a lot more energy and vigor. And uh, Atisha, of course, has been an evangelist for uh, Chandra in uh, ensuring that people are aware of uh, having to live by certain compliances for the common good. And Divya Subramati and uh, Aisha Alhati. I'm happy to see a youngster from uh, Oman coming up and uh, unleashing the power uh, in them. And uh, I've, I've been very, I mean, I would say benefited by. Uh, my mother, who was also a leader, uh, I mean, women leader, uh, headmistress of a school, and then uh, wife, of course, being a tremendous strength, and uh, daughters, uh, my daughter and uh, daughter-in-law. I mean, each of them, their own self, uh, uh, come up in their lives. And uh, so I, I do have a lot of attachment to uh, uh, supporting women and to come up in their uh, respective spheres. Do reach out, and uh, we really want this uh, to be a great initiative growing from strength to strength. I'm happy that it's going to the US as well. Uh, I always used to say that uh, Anna Paravai, uh, you, I mean, the, can differentiate between water and milk and consume the milk. So we probably, while we make it open and then uh, transparent, we also should give them enough feed of uh, the good side of uh, the womenhood. And uh, I'm sure people do have a lot of stresses and if we can alleviate them and make them better and better, we'll be more happy uh, to support that. Do reach out if there are anything that I can do from my side to I mean, alleviate uh, the pressure on personal and work side as well. And I could see that a lot of contributions are coming from people in the magazines. And uh, like they say, you know, I mean, the, the perception is that women are good cooks. But the reality is uh, the best cooks are men. Nala, nala Bagam, they used to say, right? And uh, But not that I cook, but I'm just saying that uh, there are some good men in our organization who are supporting the women. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Mike, Chandra, and, uh, and many of them, were Raj, or uh, they're more than happy to be of support to you people. And for once, we can call up and then say, we are the men behind the women's success. And we'll be happy to do that uh, with a lot of uh, pride. And uh, one thing I saw, you had a nine-point agenda. I think the 10th point uh, should be on humor. You probably should have a humor club because there are so much uh, that uh, we all go through in the day-to-day -day basis and uh, we do need to have the lighter side and come just laugh it off. But what we look back and see in our lives is the good times that we have had. So if this forum can also provide that uh, humor and the lighter side of life, it'll be, it'll be fun. And uh, 
So with this, and I know everybody are looking to India and uh, England uh, one day international shortly, and uh, so let me not stand between that and now. And wish you all the very best. And I'm so happy that uh, this is growing from strength to strength every day and uh, keep it up. <laughs> thank you, DP. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, DP, sir. In fact, you know, the 10th the point will be taken care in an hour or two. We already have a point to focus on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed, you know, bringing in people and making them participate, doing the execution, uh, you know, for the event, thoroughly enjoyed. And thanks to my, uh, you know, my boss who was behind us, well, Mr. Balakumar, who was saying, you know, giving the empowerment, yes, you pull the charter, go ahead, present it to, you know, the leaders and take it further. So thanks again to him. And I would request uh, Mike, we have Mike who has joined up all today. So Mike, would you like to share a few words? And before Mike, uh, Balakumar also, I mean, missed him somehow, but then uh, excellent guy. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, no, I didn't think I was going to speak, but anyway, the only thing I always feel is uh, in uh, what do you call uh, in India? What we say is uh, women. We call them Shakti, and uh, it is uh, Shakti is having multiple meanings. It is energy. It is power. It is action. It is it's everything that you can ask for. And uh, honestly speaking, uh, I wish we had a men's water type of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> And possibly, I think the way it's going, uh, I, this will uh, scale up so much. Uh, somewhere we'll land up uh, in about another four or five years in BCT. We'll be asking Jaya, Shanti, and all these people, why don't we have something for men? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it's it's quite, uh, what do you call, uh, on, a, on a serious note, I, I found the divas, the energy they are bringing in, the way they are communicating, because we know Shanti and Jaya, the energy and the power and the action orientedness, yes, we all know. But then when I see the younger ones also co coming out with so much of energy and passion and probably role modeling themselves on you people, the uh, seniors, it's fabulous. And I'm you sure that. You just called us old, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to call that out. You know, <laughs> the 10th point in the agenda, the humor bit, we should mm -hmm. hand it over to the men. Have a men's humor club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that. we better do because otherwise you'll be laughing at us. So let's take it over. <laughs> okay. So it's fantastic and it's uh, it's nice to see. I mean, when when every one of you, whether it's, I think uh, uh, DP was talking about Kavita, it's not just uh, this, uh, her passion for art is uh, very visible. I mean, the way she comes out with uh, her art pieces or possibly like uh, Jaya uh, has her uh, marathons. I think everybody seems to have multiple uh, things that they do. And uh, this, the water program has brought all of that uh, into, uh, into the forefront. I feel that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, water too, why water too? It may just go on and on. And uh, as one of the divas told, yes, in BCT, we begin and we continue forever. And uh, yes, but even otherwise, why don't we have something for men? Thank you very much. <laughs> Mike, 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 we'll work on sorry, it. Uh, sorry to end it like this, but then I know you take permission from the women. <laughs> <to do something. laughs> You're welcome to join us, Mike. DP, 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 Always. DP, You're welcome to join. Why, that is why I have told it in this forum, because I'm asking the uh, women. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, <laughs> point noted, Mike. Thank yeah. you. Anyway, fantastic, fantastic uh, to add to, to just uh, add to that. Fantastic girls, you've done a great job. Jay, are you happy? <laughs> now, very much now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're muted. I'm on mute. I, would I like didn't to... know that women can mute themselves. <laughs> <laughs> More on humor. Humor is hitting, okay? Oh. Rima, would you like to uh, share the vote of thanks, please? Yeah. I'm sure you're going to part partake in Water 2, right? We have a huge role to play in Water 2 now. Yes. Why don't you share the vote of thanks? Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's been an honor. To uh, watch Water One uh, presenting, you know what they have achieved, 
and it's a huge uh, order, a tall, a tall order for the water too. Uh, you know, we have some surprises in water too. Um, we are hoping to, uh, you know, have the inauguration of water too uh, very soon. So uh, it's it's a tall order for water too. We have to pick from where water one has, you know, uh, established a good threshold, and from there we need to build on. Uh, you know, uh, really thanking the leadership team uh, for uh, enabling this. That that Chandra who has, you know. Uh, gave the impetus for the HR team to come up with this and uh, the unstinted uh, support which we always get from UDP when, whenever we have come to you with such uh, initiatives and the rest of the leaders. You know, just one anecdote here, uh, you know, I personally feel that it is the understanding and the appreciating men who uh, is a bedrock for any women who have come up in life, including me. I owe my, uh, you know, uh, career to my dad and my brother who were, uh, you know, um, willing to, uh, uh, exp willing, uh, allowing me to explore something unorthodox at that point in time, allowing me to join defense and explore uh, the world. So I always feel that, you know, this, uh, uh, like uh, women coming up and men getting, uh, you know, or rather, you know, that imbalance of the society and all that, it actually can be addressed quite a bit from our own homes and, you know, it, it just has to percolate everywhere through society. So it's a it's a it's an absolutely fabulous start with Water One in BCT, and we are really looking for uh, the launch of Water Two very soon. Thank you, uh, Jaya. Thank you, Shanti. Thank you, Chitra, for uh, the brainstorming efforts which you have done, and the working committee was done, stitched it all fabulously well, and the facilitation, of course, my team. I I can uh, never thank them enough for uh, the painstaking uh, uh, meticulousness with which they go about uh, you know executing things. Amazing. And uh, thank you all once again. And uh, definitely, chart of 10 will be taken uh, care of. Mike, we are counting on you. And I know you write poems, and uh, probably you can help us, you know, in building uh, the chart of 10 uh, very nicely. The one liners. <laughs> one liners, of course. And mm. you know that uh, Water 2 is going to have a, a special person also on board with us. So I, I'm not going to reveal it now. So very soon, we'll be having Water 2 announcement coming. So uh, see you all there. Thank you very much. Once again, from bottom of my heart, DP, real a big thank you to you for uh, always supporting us. You know, thank you all leaders for uh, you know believing in us and always always being there for us and cheerleading us. You know that is what uh, is helping the women leaders of BCT to uh, thrive and come up. Thank you very much, and we are really looking for uh, you know the next uh, episodes. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank thank you, you. everyone. Thank you, all the leaders. Bye, Divya. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Divya. Thank you, all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.